Yeah, after all, that looks like we've got a short on 5ES3 somewhere. This is going to be fun. Because there's a lot of parts on 5ES3. Could be one of hundreds. Could be a chip. Could be anything. Uh, it is pulsing, so we can try. We can try with a bit of brushed alcohol. See if we can see anything. I think it's that little fellow there, maybe. Zoom down. That's a little bit too much activity going on there. Let's try the finger test. certain that's it the pulsing is about right too so yeah I'm gonna guess that's it things I don't even know if that is on the board but I'm guessing it the pulsing is about right to suit the meter so let's red mark that Be funny if that's not even on that rail. You, you're marked for death. And I think it is on that rail. Let's have a look here. That's this one. And it is indeed on the rail. So we'll knock it off and see what happens. Well, I don't think I've I can see actually it's got a bit of a golden hue on the one side. Well, it doesn't want to come off in a simple knockoff, so we'll hot air it off. With that slightly golden tone off the side there makes me think it really is, and the way that the alcohol is pulsing around it the pulsing was the same rhythm as what I was seeing on the multimeter. So I was bloody lucky I even saw that. That came off awful easy. Let's see what our diode moves like now. So it was zero before. So, and that's for this pad here, and now we're 0.42. So I suspect we're going to get a fan spin now. Let's see if we have any luck. Green light. Haha, <laughs> fan spin we have. That was lucky. Here's a way to put a new one on there. A replacement, rather. Now I've lost my solder. Fantastic. I'm going to be able to open a solder mine on this floor. A good reason not to have a carpet in your um, workshop. Much better to have some sort of solid floor surface that doesn't attract things, or rather trap things. 
That way if you do drop something you have half a chance of finding it instead of almost no chance of finding it. Alright, come on, well, I always call the, I was going to say I always call the multimeter the multimeter. Ah, I always call the soldering iron the multimeter and something just got into my throat. Yep. Okay. That's ready for its donor when it arrives. Here it comes. I think we'll be done with that, hopefully. There's a few corrosion spots I had to fix up. Thankfully, I was almost going to go and kill the SMC, but thankfully I didn't. I'm a little worried about the RAM slot. Um, it had corrosion on it, just here. But I'll put this through an ultrasonic, and that should help clear it up. There are a couple of spots under here. They needed cleaning up a couple of veers that had been partially eaten through. We had uh, knocked off little parts as well. I think there's one over here. Uh, that little cap there, that's borderline knocked off. Let's actually see how that is. Yeah, it's doing alright now. And also under the foam up here, or where the foam was, this one here was partially knocked off as well. So I'm not exactly the true story behind that. I don't know whether it was something I did when I was trying to roll up the foam, or you see the foam was already half missing, so it might have been when the first person came along and tried to take off the foam. Not sure. Okay, yeah, let's put this into the chassis and see what happens. I shouldn't have to hold the option key for this one, because it's the only option there. I guess we'll see. Okay, green light, fan spin, CDs just jumped. Let's see. Maybe I do have to hold option on this one. Oh no, here we go. I uh, looked at the drive. I haven't had a bong yet. Oh, there we go. It's booting. Beauty. So we've got a win. In the end, that was C6213, which is part of the audio amplifier circuit, but it's sitting on PP53S3. That was shorted to the ground, and that's why it wouldn't come up. And what was happening is uh, all the rails prior to that would be pulsing. So they'd like try to start up and then shut down, try to start up, shut down. And so that ended up being the cause, because the rail further on in the chain was uh, shorted, so every time it tried to bring it up, it crashed down, and the whole thing would just start again. Alright, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.